Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. Brian Natta with you as we kick off closing week of the Sunshine Meet. Nine races for you on Friday. And what a day it is. Not only the Rainbow Six in race number four with $225,000 in the estimated jackpot, but the big doings are in race number five with a late pick five carryover approaching $65,000. Gabe Pruitt's back for another weekend, and he's upstairs with your course and your weather conditions. Winter sunny skies, a fast track, a bit chilly by South Florida standards right now at 70 degrees. The track is fast, winds to the northwest at 15 miles per hour. Changes do begin in the first race. We scratch at number five, Pedro Motorosa. We have a rider change on what holding kingdom, Yvonne Pimento Jr. And uh, they are off. Wicked Legacy. For last in, first out from the outside, but it's Cajun Anthem who moves through to her inside. She knows it all. About running close there at the inside from third. Sand Wedge is out of between horses in the uh, fourth spot. Is Lucadia. He's carried wide there in the early stages from fifth as they move uh, towards the uh, far turn. It's Gap of Two Links to Holy Kingdom who runs in a sixth. Big Bouquet of Roses is next. And at the uh, back of the uh, pack, the opening quarter was 23 seconds. They move on to the far turn. Cajun Anthem. Patrols the pace here at five to one. Wicked Legacy is giving chase there in second. That is Sylvia V's heroes to the outside third. And moving up wide, big bouquet of roses with a run off the back. She knows it all's dead at the inside in front of Sand Wedge. And Lucadia as they move towards the top of the stretch. Cage and Anthem still cruising. It's Cage and Anthem who maintains a two-length margin at to the top of the stretch. The half is up in 47-2. and two. Big bouquet of roses. Tries to uh, continue to gain momentum up on the far outside with Wicked Legacy in between. But as they move into the uh, final 16th of a mile now, it's Cage and Anthem. Cage and Anthem is uh, maintaining a four-length margin. Big bouquet of roses is second. Wicked Legacy third. Cage and Anthem all the way to the Friday opener. Big Bouquet of Roses was second. Wicked Legacy finished third. Sylvia V's Heroes was fourth at 113 and two. And uh, they are off and racing. Gervin Starr was quick in the stride to take over the early lead. Captured Dove, good boy, close to at the inside second as Regal Queen was out racing there to the middle of the track in third. West Loop, three wide early in the uh, fourth spot as they move across the back stretch and towards a far turn. Rubers have it. Started to thread through in tight traffic. It's about a gap of six lengths to a struggling Lunetta Jack as they uh, work towards the uh, far turn. And it's Gervin started at the inside, Regal Queen, but here comes Rubers have it. And Rubers have it quickly looking to take over the uh, top pair. She sticks a deck in front. That is Regal Queen who battles out of between horses with Gervin Starr down at the inside. West Loop begins to gain momentum up on the outside and move up. The quarter was 22 and 3. Uncaptured Dove is beginning to move up a fifth. Right now, five off the lead and still three back to Lunetta Jack as they reach the top of the stretch. The favorite Rubers have it at 4 to 5 is by the half and 47 at 1. West Loop continues in pursuit from second. Uncaptured Dove is third. Gervin Starr ridden out fourth as they move into a mid stretch and the two first time starters are drawn clear. Rubers have it down at the inside. West Loop continues to inch in. Here's West Loop moving well down the center. West Loop will burst through late. West Loop will edge clear. If Rubers have it to get up and wet it. Lunetta Jack from far back to be third and Capture Dove is fourth at 113. Agenda for St. Elias Stable. 
Florida Derby winner, known agenda. Whether you're new to the world of horse racing or a seasoned professional, we have something for everyone here at the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame. From fine art to legendary artifacts, our mission is to preserve and promote the history of thoroughbred racing in America and honor the sport's most accomplished participants. Open year-round and located on Union Avenue, right across from Saratoga Racecourse, adding to the rich history surrounding the oldest racetrack in America. Visit racingmuseum.org. And uh, they are off. It was a level beginning. Flirtidia fired out to quickly. Great Venezuela is to burrow outside as they spread across the back stretch. Glitter up. We're back at three across the early stages as Judge Judith is running just off the top trio there in fourth. It's a break of two links to Royal Poppy. She's the back marker right now. Four and a half links off the lead as they spread across the back stretch and out of the far turn. Flirtidi there at the inside. Great Venezuela in between and the three wide glitter up. There's still three across to a contested opening split of 22 seconds. It's a break of four links back to Judge Judith who tries to get in gear. Royal Poppy still last as they sprint towards the top of the stretch. The favorite great Venezuela is in between. She's put away Flirtini dead at the inside, but it's Glitter Up who she's yet to shake off there to her outside. Great Venezuela is now opened up to a two link lead. Glitter Up battles on down the center. Flirtini trying to stay on for a slice. Great Venezuela maintaining the margin in deep stretch. Great Venezuela is gone again. Her fourth in a row. Great Venezuela. Scores here at one to nine. Tight four place. Royal Poppy there with Glitter Up in 57 and three. And uh, they are off. Sluggish beginning for executive success. The other is all out to Weldon's Milky Way. We'll slide through dead at the inside with Lily Bird. To our outside there in second, Goddess Ceteria. All running just off the top pair from third. With any moment, moving up by the outside as they move towards the far turn. It's a break of two links to Batoldi's Baby Girl, who's dead at the inside of fifth. La Chueca to our outside sixth. And executive success. Still at the back of the pack as they race out of the far turn. The opening quarter was 22 and 2. Lynn's Milky Way paves away here at 7 to 1. She's four clear. Lily Bird is giving futile chase right now from second. It's three back to Eddie Moment, who's there in third. Slew Divas up at the outside fourth, but she still has seven lengths to make up with the executive success. Started to swing wide from the fifth spot as they move towards the top of the stretch. It's all Lynn's Milky Way, and she is bloated wide open as they pass the quarter pole with past the half and 46 and two. Lynn's Milky Way trying to go all the way, and she has got a decisive lead through the stretch. Slew Diva rallies in the second. Executive success on the scene for minor spoils, but it's all Lynn's Milky Way. Lynn's Milky Way blew him away here on debut. Lynn's Milky Way scores easily. Executive success was second. Slew Diva third. Lily Bird was fourth at 112 and four. And they are off. It was a sharp beginning for Pretty Keen. Left the uh, gate alertly from the outside. Sprezzatura is also looking to mix it up in the early stages and classic battles in between as they move on to that opening turn. Victory badge tucked right off the uh, top trio fourth as Rachel Song, the favorite, moves in between horses there fifth with Convertible outside. She's a joy. Come out last as they work around that opening turn. Sprezzatura here at 10 to 1. It's a half length on top of Classic Ballad. The opening quarter was 24 and 1 as Rachel's Song, the 1 to 5 favorite, is running just off the top pair. She's two links there off the lead in third. Victory badge is up in between horses in tight traffic. Pretty keen is down to Burr inside as Confer 
is at three wide across the back stretch, and it's about five lengths further back still to She's a Joy. She is trailed throughout, and as they make their way across the back stretch and towards the far turn, that is Sprezzatoro maintaining a short lead, but here's the favorite, Rachel Song, moves up down to even terms, and it's those two together as they move past the half mile in 48 seconds. Confer continues up three wide with victory badge in between horses, and down at the inside, that's pretty keen as Classic Bounded has dropped out, and it's still about six further back to She's a Joy. As they make their way around the turn, it's Rachel Song who strikes a lead at one to five. Victory badge is there to more outside now second, but Sprezzatoro giving way down at the inside. Three quarters, one twelve and one. Rachel Song, the big favorite, trying to polish it off, but she's put it the test here. Victory Badge trying to surge past down the center. Sprezzator hangs it in third, but it's Victory Badge who takes over from Rachel Song. Rachel Song trying to counter and quicken down at the inside, but it's Victory Badge close to home. Victory Badge at seven to two. Rachel Song second best. Sprezzator was third. Confer finished fourth in one forty one and one. at the post, and uh, they are off. Shady World broke sharply with third up the trees, also moving well out in the center of the track. Awesome train, floating wide there early in third, as lace-up set at the inside fourth, as they make their way across the uh, back stretch out of the main, uh, out of the back chute, rather out of the main track. Lasso is three wide, right again fifth, too clear of Manhattan Boy, as they uh, move across the uh, back stretch and towards the uh, far turn. It's a break of uh, some seven lengths back to uh, Mr. Scatter. And even further back is the back marker, Secret Lovers. The uh, quarter was up in 23 seconds. Turn up the uh, trees on top out of the uh, far turn. Lace up. Started to tighten up there in second as Olsen Train moves up three wide. Just a length off the lead right now. Shady World struggling down at the inside. Fourth as Lasso starts to get in gear and quickly begins to advance wide. Three in front of Manhattan Boy. And it's still 10 further back to Mr. Scatter and far back to Secret Lover. The half is 46 and one. They move towards the top of the stretch. Turn up the trees, trying to do a turn away the challengers. But here's Awesome Train down the center. The Awesome Train has taken over the lead. Lasso moves up there on his outside as Turn Up the Trees tries to battle on down at the inside as they move into the final eighth of a mile. It's Awesome Crane, who has taken over and kicked clear to a three-length advantage. Lasso is giving feudal chase in second, close to home. Awesome Crane. Awesome Crane wins it. Lasso was second. Turn up the trees, finished third. Lace up was fourth at 124-2. And they are off. They broke it a level line as Mish looks to dart out quickly there. Flying Liam is to his inside. White Aparo moving between horses to come out running in third. Vladislavs to the outside fourth. As they race out of the back, shoot out of the main track. Gatsby come out to dead at the inside. It's a tight pack across the back stretch. Flying Liam with a short lead dead at the inside from Mish. Continues there up on his outside. Those two together through an opening quarter in 22 and 3. 
Way to Barrio. As to what Amplink's off the lead right now in third with Gatsby to his inside fourth. Vladislav the back marker, but just four to Amplink's off the lead as they continue on to the far turn. Flying Liam and Mish continue to go at it as White of Barrio begins to sweep up there on the outside. Just a link back now as they make their way midway around the far turn. It's Flying Liam with the inside advantage. Mish has been there throughout. White of Barrio starts to get in gear. Vladislav will follow that move up at the outside fourth. Just two links off the lead as Gatsby starts to swing wide. The half is 45 and 4, and White of uh, Barrio trying to tackle Flying Liam. Vladislav moves up at the outside third with a quarter of a mile left to run. It's White of uh, Barrio who has taken over. Flying Liam had little resistance dead at the inside. It's far back to the rest. White of uh, Barrio is opening up here under Irad Ortiz. It's White of uh, Barrio, the South Florida stroll. It is homecoming to Gulfstream Park. He was as advertised here, the big favorite. White of uh, Barrio takes it. Flying Liam was far back to be second. Vladislav finished third in 123 and one. And they are off. Good break at the outside for Prairie Hawk, who starts to move up with the Super Corbento. As they run out of the back, shooting towards the main track, Big Martini. Part of the early mix out of the inside with drum roll, please. As they move out of the chute now out of the main track, and it's Prairie Hawk, but they shortly to the outside. In between horses, a Big Martini. Drum roll, please. Used it at the inside. Lower bids right off the top. Trio running in fourth. Super Corbento is next in a fifth. Golden Glider is a sixth. The dead at the inside. Steel Sunshine will have to do it from a last. Right now, about five and a half links off the lead. As the quarter was contested in 24 and 2. Big Martini. There at the inside as Prairie Hawk battles on three wide. Lower Bend continues up, so three across past the half and 47 and one. As Golden Glider continues to follow just off the top plate and fourth. Drum roll, roll please, is there in fifth. A Steel Sunshine looks to take a peek through that at the inside. Super Corbento is under urging, but still has four and a half to make up. As they move around the far turn, Lure them in, trying to overhaul Big Martini, who battles back down at the inside. Golden Glider sets it up a wide, and Steel Sunshine looks to throttle through. As they run to the top of the stretch, they're by three quarters in 112 and four. Lure Men battles on with Big Martini, who battles back down at the inside. But here's the fresh red steel sunshine in between horses. Four outside. That's Golden Gliders. They're four across here to the finish. Steel Sunshine has taken over with Golden Gliders sweeping up on the far outside. Steel Sunshine. Steel Sunshine delivers here three to five. Golden Glider to tight place photo with Lure Men. Big Martini flat to be fourth, 138 and two. And uh, they are off at the Friday finale from Gulfstream. Dear Dad broke quickly from the outside. Super Titov also moves up with the social long distance. Running just off that top here early from third. Magic Shadow is fourth at the inside as they cut the quarter out of the opening turn. Junction Roads up at the outside with Hot Blooded next. Too clear of money in motion. That's the uh, back marker as they make their way around that opening turn. 
Super attentive. Tends to the pace on top here at six to one. Social long distance. It's running in second. Right now, two links off the top. His dear dad continues on third. Junction Road is fourth. It's uh, two links further back to Hot Blooded. It was next. Magic Shadow with Buddy in motion. Still the back markers. The quarter was 24 and three. Here's the move midway across the back stretch here in the uh, finale. Super attentive. Still the uh, target. Social long distance is edging up there, closer on the outside. Now just a length and a half back, but dear dad, a ringside seat to that battle. Three further back to Junction Road as Hot Blooded starts to get in gear. But again, motions up at the outside, and it's three lengths further back to Magic Shadow, who will need to get busy quick. The half is up in 48 and two, and three wide and surging up off the back. Here's Hot Blooded. Hot Blooded looking to take on a super attentive right now. Dear dad, trying to battle on there in between horses. Junction Road is fourth. He's still got three and a half to make up. Buddy in motion is now fifth. Top of the stretch, they're by three quarters in 112. They cut the quarter of the night cap. Hot blooded has taken over. Dear Dad battles on now second with Junction Road down the center and third. Social long distance has given way fourth. Close to home here, the finale. Hot blooded is riven out late. It's hot blooded on top. Hot blooded will win it. Junction Road routed to be his second. Dear Dad was third. Super Ted of fourth. Far back to Buddy in motion. It rounds out your super high five. Fifth at 140 and three. And that's a wrap on the nine race Friday card. The final Saturday of the Sunshine Meet. 11 races for you. A really, really strong card. We hope to see you out here at beautiful Gulfstream Park.